life. It's about persevering, taking risks, and having fun. And we've got all that and then some today on The Express. On today's show, Discordance at Expo Dance Studio in White Rock. I like the shape of it. We'll just change up the color. Vancouver fashion designer Jason Matlow. I need this. It's a great piece. Discontinent at the Surrey Art Gallery. Plus giving back with meals and deals. Wonderful. Perfect. See that and more local expression. Welcome to The Express. I'm Joe Hannah Ward at Expo Dance Studios in White Rock. I love September. It's the time of year when all the new dance classes start, and here they actually have a new professional dance troupe that we're going to meet later in the show. This is also the time of year when you get to think about buying a new winter coat. So while you're at it, why not donate your gently used ones to a local business who'll give you something in return. Fall is in the air. She just sprays the tan on you. But you don't have to lose your summer tan. You come out and you look like you've just spent three weeks in the Caribbean. And you can try it for free if you drop off a gently used coat at Mint Hair Salon. Me and my stylist got together and decided to come into the salon and offer our services. In fact, you can get a haircut or a gel overlay, as well as the spray tan, if you donate. We're going to be open from 10 in the morning till 10 at night, so we just want to be here all day and get as many coats as we can. I drive past the food bank and I see all these people there and it makes me sad. And I thought there's going to be something apart from a few tins of food that we can do. We get to come into work every day and and we all have a job that we love. We want a coat for the coat drive. Oh, wonderful, perfect. What kind of service would you like? Came to donate a coat for the winter coat for cats. Ingrid Herber is a regular customer with a conscience. It's summer now in September, late August, and it could turn like that, so good time to start to donate things. Tell your friends, tell your family, come down, enjoy a cup of coffee, uh, and have a service done, and enjoy the day with us. And as for Ingrid, well, I'd say her hair is a cut above the rest. Glad it cleaned up. Feels good, like always. It's a good, good cause. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Port Moody for The Express. The website is mindhairsalon.ca, and you can head down on Monday, September 19th between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m., donate your gently used winter coat, and receive a free haircut or even a spray tan in return. You're watching The Express, and we have another story that'll make you feel good about giving back up next. It'll also make you appreciate the value of a home-cooked meal. In the basement of the St. David's Church in West Vancouver, these volunteers are putting together food for the North Shore Meals on Wheels. Getting the meals assembled is just one part of their day. We have a group of volunteers who pick up the meals from Cheers in the bulk boxes, and they show up to the church kitchens at about by 10.30. And we have a, a group of ladies at the church kitchens who are waiting for those boxes to divide them up into the smaller uh, boxes for delivery. And then we have a group of drivers show up to take the meals out to the various clients. Uh, so there, there are really three phases of volunteering. Once all the food is packed up in their thermos boxes, it's time to load up the cars and get those meals on their wheels. The volunteers who help out say the reward of helping others is the best part. I've always said that I think that I should pay them because you um, come away after your day of visiting and delivering meals and you feel so great. And uh, it's um, a very rewarding uh, type of volunteering to do. The volunteers feel great about delivering and the people receiving couldn't be happier either. And some have been on both sides of the meals and they know it's much more than just food. I've been delivering meals on wheels for over 30 years on Fridays. So now I've delivered to myself as well as many other people and appreciate it as well. It's just such a pleasure, you know. I, so many of the people are just so nice and uh, you know they appreciate it so They're much. They're very appreciative. So yeah. that's great. It's a, it's a great feeling. Some of the people receiving food have to pay for a portion of their meals, but a lot of it is funded by organizations like the West Vancouver Foundation. The other funding comes from municipal governments, from the provincial government, 
and from various organizations in, on the North Shore. Everyone involved in the program loves what they do and they would recommend it to anyone else. Strongly recommend it for anybody um, that's, uh, that's able to drive or likes to work in a kitchen and uh, enjoys um, working with seniors or, or basically anybody that um, requires meals. It doesn't take long. Uh, if you're a volunteer driver, for example, it requires uh, perhaps an hour and a half a week or an hour and a half any time that you can spare it. I think the best part is, is seeing the client satisfaction. This is really satisfying. I'm Peter Verge in West Vancouver for The Express. This story on the work of the West Vancouver Community Foundation has been made possible in part through a generous grant from Audlem Brown Limited. Meals on Wheels on the North Shore delivered its first meal February 5th, 1967. If you'd like to get involved and help deliver more meals, the website is northshoremealsonwheels.org. You're watching The Express, and we're all about getting creative up next. After the break, and two, and three, and four. discordance in the dance world. Okay, one, two, three. Saying, say what? Discontinent at the Surrey Art Gallery. Boo, boo, lee, 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 boo. You're watching local TV on the Express. Luba, or hamba, or luba, or hamba. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.